What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X and yes I have been still daily driving with this ROM this is the Evolution X version 5.5 by the way and if you are noticing the build date over here that is the 6th March 2021 build and it has the 1724 kind of timing I guess and if you want to see the change logs as you can see there are device changes that you can read out from here and there are the ROM changes. Now I'll show you the most important things about this like build over here but this is the latest build as of right now and here this is how the about section looks like by the way and if you're noticing on top we still have the Evolution X logo up there and we have the Android version as Android 11 of course as you are noticing. Let me go back we have the security patch is latest of March 5th 2021. So just talking about the security patch, I would say the Evolution X has been one of the fastest ROMs to get the latest security patch. And on the third last build, the Evolution X already got the March 5th, 2021 security patch. That is just insane. And we have the stock kernel as the PERFG kernel and the build date over here in the settings and about section shows as 7th March, 2021. And if you are just curious about the file size and the file names and stuff, here is how it looks like. And if you want to flash this ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro coming from MIUI, you can watch that video from the card right there and you can have the guide to flash this ROM. And this ROM of course includes the GApp so you don't need to worry about flashing GApp separately or something. And we still have the Pixel Launcher over here so to the left we still have the Google's Discover page. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer, swiping down gets you to the notification or the quick settings panel. And yeah, the UI is pretty smooth as of right now and here as you can see the widgets and stuff in the home screen is still working fine. Talking about the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like. Still has similar kind of toggles I would say. But let me go into the edit section and let me show you the more toggles. These are the toggles that you get and we have all these like audio mode and stuff. Screenshot toggle is there and many more and you can see there are like couple of app kind of toggles over here and I have added couple of toggles that I can show you. But let me tell you in terms of the screen recorder here we have the Android 11 screen recorder with that you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time that is not an issue but we used to get the oxygen waste kind of screen recorder that is just not present anymore. So yeah that's how it is and DC dimming is there you can turn it on if you want to and we have the always on display option over here in unbuilt and the reboot toggle is still present over here so you can directly reboot to recovery or something by just tapping and holding on this toggle itself so you don't need to go to the power menu or something and we have the heads up disabling option and we have the FPS counter too but again the oxygen waste kind of screen recorder is completely missing. Now let me jump into the settings and let me show you what's added and here I would say there are some things funny but I will show that to you later on but inside security we have this face unlock so that is just amazing let me show you. So this is how the face unlock like settings looks like whenever you are setting it up and it shows this unlock with a glance and it shows this kind of face over here and you just click setup after entering pin of course and it pops out the front camera then you put your face in front of the camera of course and it sets up so you click done then you can just like double tap to sleep on the status bar and after double tapping over here like double tap to wake over here you have to swipe up for once then it will pop out the front camera and it unlocks the face unlock is like working amazingly well i would say it's good that it actually does not like pop out the front camera as soon as you double tap on the screen you have to swipe up to get the front camera out over there so yeah this is how the face unlock is working and i would say the speed of the face unlock is fairly fast and like it is fine i have no complaints regarding the face unlock slowing down or something and talking about the lock screen kind of like glitch over here like there is no delay over here as of right now no like fingerprint scanner delay as you're noticing i'm just like tapping my fingerprint over here and it unlocks so no issues with the fingerprint scanner also there is one more thing that I want to show you is that if you go anywhere like where there is scrolling kind of thing is involved. Let me show you right now I am in Twitter so if I just take a screenshot and if I try to take a long screenshot by just tapping on that scroll and right now if I tap on the long screenshot as you can see the long screenshot is actually working flawlessly. So these are like this is how the long screenshot works and as you are noticing like I can zoom it in and you can still see like the quality over here is great and the long screenshot is right now actually working flawlessly here so no issues whatsoever with the long screenshot over here right now the long screenshot feature has been totally fixed like if i go into the settings and try to take a long screenshot just from here let me show you right now it shows like this kind of icons over here because i just switched to 
the light theme over here from the dark theme that's why but if you tap on long screenshot as you can see this is how it takes the screenshot and every time the long screenshot is working 100% of the time so I would say it is great that the long screenshot has been totally fixed in the latest build of the Evolution X. And there is one more thing that is actually funny like if you go into the about phone section and if you tap the build number a couple of times and if you have already enabled the developer options as you can see these are the things that shows up. Let me show you from here it shows don't you have anything better to do then it shows this kind of emoji over here then it says why are you so stupid so yeah and there is perhaps this android thing is not for you what are you doing noob alert then it says why you no speak computer go outside you look like a person who plays pubg on his phone what are you doing so these kind of <laughs> like keeps coming this is not windows this is why nobody likes you go back to your stock rom <laughs> there is the error code and stuff so as you are noticing these are really funny kind of thing over here that happens if you tap on the build number when you have like the developer options already enabled except for those things those funny things or those like new things over here i would say there is one problem that i have been facing but you may not face that let me show you what's that this is the anx camera that i have flashed with the like orange fox recovery or you can also use twrp recovery to flash it but this is the zip file which you can flash separately with a recovery not the magisk anx camera if you want to flash 185r version of the anx camera with magisk officially you can watch that video from the card right there that will help you to flash the anx camera properly but here i have flashed the modified kind of zip which is like the recovery flashable zip for the anx camera version 185r so with that let me show you one problem that i have been facing recently on the latest evolution x rom here if i open the anx camera you will see everything is working like the wide angle lens the telephoto lens and the normal 1x zoom lens everything else is working fine even the portrait mode should be working fine here no issues with the rear camera but the problem begins as soon as i switch to the front camera as you can see it opens the front camera and then it closes and it also closes the anx camera i do not know why it's happening on the latest builds but let me show you even with the portrait mode if i switch to the front camera anx camera simply stops working so this is what it has been happening for like with me for a couple of like times over here with the latest build but it was working for the earlier builds but i would say for the latest builds this is a problem if you flash the TWRP flashable ANX camera zip file but if you go into the video settings as you can see if I right now switch to the front camera as you are noticing this is actually working so I think this is a compatibility issue but yeah in the video mode it actually works fine no issues whatsoever but in the photo mode it doesn't work with the ANX camera only but let me show you if you install any kind of google camera or such as you can see if you switch to the front camera it works 100% of the time flawlessly no issues whatsoever with the google camera over here even with the unix version of the google camera as you can see the front camera works the rear camera works and if i switch to video mode as you can see again the front camera works fine and the rear camera also works fine and even with the telephoto lens and stuff it should be totally fine no issues whatsoever but yes with the anx camera at least it's just not working like if i switch to the front camera it just closes the anx camera so that's one problem regarding the camera i have been facing over here but still you do not get any stock camera as such over here you have to install separate cameras on the latest evolution x rom for the redmi k20 pro talking about the customization yes there are plenty of customization still and if you go into the system there is the system operator still so no issues with that and also in the gesture settings if you go into the system navigation gestures here you will get these kind of settings like you used to get with the amount of screen height that will be used for the back gesture then the dead zone you can hide the pill bar over here by just clicking on this show pill over here and there is the advanced gestures too so extended swipe action you can customize then there is the gesture bar length and the thickness of it customization then we have the haptic feedback back gesture animation everything is there and if you go back we also have the two button and three button navigation as well we have the quickly open camera then the swipe to take screenshot is there and we have the power menu option over here and the skip music track adaptive playback prevent ringing and stuff etc is there in the front camera settings we have all these sounds like super mario star wars etc is still present and the default keyboard is of course gboard over here and in the proper customization section as you can see there is the themes and by the way if you are wondering why like this whole quick setting panel has like different colors if i enable some things over here 
so you should not worry about that it, it is just a disco toggle over here like in the theme section if you scroll down there is a quick setting tile disco you can just enable that and have that kind of like quick setting toggle which has different colors and you can also customize the volume panel and stuff so those things are totally there and status bar opacity and stuff you can control and in the theme section you will also find this clock style option there are these many clocks as you are noticing so plenty of clocks are there including this ide option but yes definitely not like similar lock screen clock options like the Zenix OS or something which you can watch from the like card right there that ROM had like really great customization for the lock screen clocks then all the like accent color presets are there still so as you can see plethora of options for the accent colors so in terms of themes I would say there is no like problems in the lock screen section let me show you we have these kind of like settings lock screen charging info also is there still and in terms of the fingerprint icons these are the fingerprint icons that you get and let me show you there are the like screen of fingerprint option and there is also the fingerprint scanner animations there is a cyberpunk 2077 that works fine also there are more like pulse rhythm etc cosmos mclaren and supernova pulsar everything like the fusion molecular everything else is there for the fingerprint scanner animation itself so a lot of things are there even in the misc settings we have the charging animation then we have the usb configuration and stuff and all that like the brightness control by just sliding a finger on the status bar those things are completely working fine no issues with those and as you can see volte calling and stuff is totally working fine but yes still there is no call recording option and if you want to know about the performance of this rom i would say it is a great performer in my opinion and everything else works super fine here and as you are noticing the whole UI is pretty smooth and if you want to know the benchmarks of this ROM here the end to end Geekbench score of this particular build. And talking about the safety net, it passes the safety net test right out of the box and everything passes over here. So that means banking apps like Google Pay will be working super fine here, no issues with that. And talking about the DRM info, if you have not broken it, it will be L1 for you but for me it's L3 because I have broken my DRM certification but for you if you have not broken it, it should be showing up L1. Now let's talk about the battery life over here and I would say the battery life is just great and as you can see from these screenshots the battery life I got with this ROM is amazing no issues whatsoever with the battery life 18 watt fast charging also works fine and if you tap here you see the full battery usage and if you scroll down we have these like the battery temperature the screen on time and the last full charge option and there is a smart charging option you can trigger it over there like customize it and we have the adaptive battery settings then we have the battery saver option you can also schedule it from here and there's the extreme battery saver option and also there is the thermal profiles for like per app customization for the battery in the display settings we have the lock screen on top now and we have this always show time and info that is the always on like display over here then there is the always on when charging only and stuff then we have some advanced settings over here let me go back we have the dark theme still over here nightlight also works and inside live display we have these color calibration that works fine over here too let me go back we have the styles and wallpapers and stuff double tap to wake pocket detection enable blurs everything works and the dc dimming again is there and it works fine and also in the sound settings we have the me audio dirac if you scroll down you will see the me audio dirac and i would say with that the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is still great no issues so far with that and we have the sound presets over here like these kind of presets that you get also the hi-fi audio direct option is there and the dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound the screenshot sound you can disable everything there is the pulse visualizer kind of thing you can set like pulse visualizer for the lock screen nav bar everything else like the ambient display etc and we have the ringtone vibration pattern you can change that too so all the customizations in terms of the whole ui is there still and still there is the like wallpapers app that is actually known as the papers app over here and this is how it looks like and these wallpapers do look amazing over here in this papers app so yeah this is a really great wallpaper okay so it's not loading right now as you can see these wallpapers looks very beautiful in my opinion at least and you can apply any wallpaper from here so a lot of like great evolution x wallpapers are there in this papers app so far the evolution x has been great but again there are some flaws the front camera is not working with the recovery flashable anx camera which was working earlier but right now that's a little bit buggy other than that i have i would say like i have been having great experience with this rom so if you want to stick with the evolution x for a long time you definitely can if you're someone who is happy with using google camera selfie and stuff or even google camera photos normally you should be totally fine or you can take like rear camera pictures with the ANX camera too, that's not an issue either. 
but definitely I did not try with the Magix version of the NX camera that might be working fine but here the TWRP recovery flashable ANX camera is simply not working for taking selfies again. So thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.